Um, <clears throat> hello. It's about time we do another jungle tier list, right? It's been a while. Well, I guess I'll just start and uh, go alphabetically. We got Aatrox. I think Aatrox is still pretty strong. His nerfs like barely touched him. He definitely works better in lane than in jungle. But even in jungle, you are allowed to go Yomus, which just makes your burst much higher. Mm, Akshan is not really a <laughs> jungle anymore, I don't know. Should I just... Should I put like the random champs in? I guess I can. I'll just put in like C. Can't... Can't really do much in the jungle anymore after the jungle got reworked, barely clears camps. It's a bit of a struggle to play AD carry in jungle. We got Amumu among us. Actually, I'll put him A. I saw a lot of Amumus recently. There's still a lot of Amumu OTPs. I think the AP build is the best one. I don't think the tank one really accomplishes too much. It's pretty slow. But once you go Leandre, you know you can solo Baron. You can do a lot of things with AP Amumu. Okay, Brand, I'm not even gonna talk about him. Camille. Camille, last patch. S++, G tier, Z tier, Monster, Godzilla. But this patch, after they halved literally half the damage on W on the second skill on jungle. It's pretty rough, she's still quite a good ganker, you know, you got her ultimate, her hookshot, but she's really slow, man, especially early game. The nerfs on W, because you were going second skill max, right? After they killed the first skill. But now it barely does damage, like 400 damage on dragons level 7, it's not too great. Diana, Diana is the S++ Z tier monster. I think everyone can agree with that. Her damage is just too crazy with Luden. Her burst is insane. You got really accessible ganks because her third ability is half of the screen. Really good in team fights, like crazy carry potential. You can do a lot of things with her. I would personally recommend to pick her up if you still haven't before she gets nerfed. Darius, Darius is really good in jungle. I wouldn't put him S plus though because. He still has his weaknesses. Even if you go phase rush on him, some team comes just kite the shit out of you. You literally can't play the game. Other than that, he clears really fast. He doesn't really have any other issues. It's just some team comes are literally unplayable. Let's see. Mundo. Mundo will need <laughs> a lot more buffs to be viable. They buffed something recently, but I forgot what it was. It's just he's still not good in jungle, especially since he like, doesn't have a good rune on him. Face Rush is decent, but I'm not a fan, I don't know. We got Echo. Echo feels really good. Echo's issue always was jungle clear, which got buffed this patch. And especially, I started going Nashors on him. And that kind of takes away the weak early game, because you can just power farm really fast compared to going like Pendant to Rabadon. So yeah, once you get 3 items, he is pretty unstoppable, but he's still not on the level of Diana. But in general, this patch, AP mages are really strong. That's why Evelyn is going to be here as well. She's always... I mean, she used to be S+, plus. I used to value her much highly. But I think that Diana and some other champions are just on a completely different level, right? So, but even in S for this patch, she's still the same thing as usual, killing people for free in this beautiful, wonderful Season 8, where... No one understands how jungle works, not even the jungler himself, me included. But yeah, you just power farm level 5 and then you do whatever the fuck they want, do whatever the fuck you want, because your enemies will never use their lovely pink words, and even if you do, you just kill them anyway. Let's see, Fiora. Fiora is still really good. I haven't really seen her much recently, but Fiora jungle is still a thing. The only issue you have with Fiora jungle is that Normally you want to be like a duelist split pusher, right? But as a jungler, most of the time you can't afford to do that. You kind of have to play team fights, especially on objectives like Heralds and Dragons. And when there's five people, you know, it's kind of a fiesta if you're playing Fiora and you can't flank because you're the jungler, so you have to be there to smite, etc. But yeah, anyway, I digress. Uh, Fiora jungle is still really strong. The champion power level is just pretty off the scales. So yeah. Fizz... Fizz actually, I always thought Fizz jungle is good, it's just something felt off about him. He's also pretty slow early game, just like every AP jungler, but his ultimate range is pretty high, you can get 3 ganks in, and once you get going 2-3 items like every AP jungler, you just one-tap people. Mm, Dragas, 
I actually, I want to put him as plus, not going to lie. I'm a big fan of Gragas. I'm a belly enjoyer. I'll put him as plus, whatever. I think if you are good on Gragas, he's on the same level as Diana. I think that's the easiest way to put it. The champion just does way too much. You got crazy CC, crazy poke, crazy burst, crazy engage, he flash in, you know. Very flashy belly, man. He doesn't really have... He has a... Actually, yeah, he doesn't have bad matchups. I think on, like, Olaf is the worst you can have. And other than that, you can easily deal with anything. That's actually a reoccurring theme for our lovely S plus champions. Galio Jungle. <laughs> I actually played a lot on stream for the past, like, few months at this point. I, I really don't think it's that bad. It's definitely not worse than Mundo, right? So, we'll just put it in B. I mean, you kind of have to gank a lot because his clear speed in jungle is... It would be good, but his cooldowns are way too high, man. I don't know what's wrong with it. There's like 20 seconds on E, level 1 or 15, something like that. It's crazy. Okay, moving on. Garen. I guess you can put Garen in. He's like playable in jungle. His E does a lot of damage actually on camps. I don't see anyone playing it, but I'm pretty sure it works, so we'll just put him here and move on. Uh, Graves... Mm, I played him a lot recently as well, but I'm not that fond of him. He is like a scaling AD jungler, which is not bad, but in a meta where AP scaling junglers... like Okay, let's put it this way. You have 3 items Fizz and 3 items Graves. Who do you think is going to be more useful? Because I'm pretty sure the Fizz is going to one-tap your whole team before Graves gets 2 autos off. That's the comparison I'm trying to make. I don't think Graves is bad. His early game is still pretty decent. His early game is not even that bad, but yeah, I just feel like AD scaling jungler is not that the strongest right now. Gwen, Gwen is still as her clear is really slow early game, but you just need lovely Nasher and lovely Riftmaker item. If you get that cap, that's like a bonus. If you get Orb, it's already GG. They can FF because you will kill their whole team. But yeah, she only has a pretty slow going early game. That's her only weakness. Her clear is not the best. But once you get Nashers, that issue gets fixed. We have Irelia. I don't think Irelia jungle is that great. It's definitely playable. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I think compared to everyone above her, she's definitely not on the same caliber. Jarvan. I like Jarvan. I think he's one of the few good, like, tanky quotes uh, jungler. He has great engage, you can still get Yomos on him to do some big damage. His ultimate provides a lot of value, his early game is one of the best. He can pressure a lot. We have Jax. Jax jungle kind of died, it's still fine, I guess. You can still play it, but I don't feel like it's that great. I played a few days ago, it wasn't really a pleasant experience. It's just his clear is too slow now. The champ is still strong, but I don't know, the fact that you can't clear- And you can't go Sunder in jungle. If you go Sunder in jungle and on any of these champs, like Camille or Jax, you can just go out the window, you know? Okay, Jace, 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 Jace. I haven't seen or played Jace jungle in forever, bro. I guess it's still a... The problem with Jace jungle is you can't really gank well. And you just like, I don't know, it feels like you can't accomplish much on Jace jungle nowadays. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like there is not much I can do. Like, compare what Jace can do with what anyone else can do, like Dan or Gragas, it's not even close. But yeah, maybe it's just me being, like, biased, because I feel like AD jungler is not that strong. Uh, moving on, Kale. <laughs> okay, Kale is a meme, but it's... I played the stream yesterday, bro. It's not that bad. Come on, I can't put it action here. We have Kane. Red Kane is... Yeah, Red Kane is S. I think Red Kane is playable into almost everything. It, the only issue is you need to play for form. So if they don't have ranged mid, they only have like melee top laner and melee jungle. It can be a bit hard, but there's a lot of cheesy invades you can do with Kane. You can invade Raptors level 1 and then go to the red or you can invade on blue side. You have a lot of options as Kane. Blue form got buffed. I guess I can mention that. It's like it's playable against some some team comps but i'm really not a fan i just don't feel the damage still compared to other assassins like mr kha'zix i will honestly still put him s plus this champion is just too annoying to deal with 
he has so much agency, he has so many things he can do. His damage is still crazy. You have a lot of builds you can go as well. He's really, you know, adaptable. He's he keeps evolving with the meta. But yeah. Uh who's next? We got Lee Sin. I would actually put him in S. I feel like he's not on the same level as before. I mean he is on the same level as before, but the issue is he doesn't scale. Unless you snowball really hard, you are fucking useless, literally. You are either 5-0 at 3 minutes or you lose the game. You get outscaled so hard by everything else that it becomes unplayable. Diana one taps you, Kha'Zix one. I mean Kha'Zix is like 50-50 matchup actually. But Gragas counters you really hard and there's a lot of other champs that I will add here that just are really good into Lee Sin. That's the issue I feel like. It's just all the good champs in the meta just are good into Lee Sin as well. Okay, Lilia. Uh, I don't think she's S+. plus. I think she's S as well. Yeah, just like every other AP jungler, she scales really, really hard once you are three items. And yeah, that's the trend with every AP jungler. Once you get three items, you just murder everyone. But yeah, Lilia is not a different case. The only thing is she's a bit tankier. She's better into tanks and melee, melee champions. You put them to sleep and you just uh, eep. Oh my god, my AP is so bad. You just eep all over them. Okay, Master E just go sit here. I played him yesterday, it wasn't fun. Nautilus jungle is shit, it's too slow. Disco Nunu. Uh yeah, S. He is still Perma Genking Menace uh, dancing on the rift. Keisha style. Olaf, 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 Olaf still S. He got nerfed a lot actually, like the fact that the third ability doesn't deal full damage in jungle camps, it's 50% is Pretty annoying, I started maxing first ability because of that. And the damage is not the same as before, but he still does the same thing. You know, if enemy team has like Varus Senna, you just run them down on cooldown. He's good into AP champions as well, because he has easy access to Spirit Visage, which is very valuable in this meta, especially now that it's pretty broken. They buffed it, it has like 20 haste, which is crazy, bro. Uh, Malphi jungle, is that worth putting on the list? I guess we can put it. Uh, Morgana. Morgana... Hmm... I don't feel like... I'll put her A actually. I don't feel like... Even though like... Uh, how can I put it? There's a lot of AP junglers in the meta. But I still feel like Morgana is one of the weakest, you know? The fact that they killed double camping hurt her quite a bit. She still brings a lot of value to the team. I started going like phase rush on her. It's really really good. You get your cooldowns back 24 sevens because it works with her second ability. You just put the pool down and you get the cooldowns refreshed. But yeah, out of all the AP junglers, I feel like she's one of the weaker ones. She's like a support jungler now, you don't really do much as her anymore. Can't do crazy invades or anything just because you don't have that um, fast clear leverage over the enemy jungler. Pantheon... Uh, Pantheon is still a same as always. He still scales like crap, you know. He's like a worse Lee Sin, blah blah blah. Unless you are like some crazy Chinese guy playing Pantheon level 2 perma ganking, killing the whole enemy team. But yeah, that's pretty rare to see. I don't know, he just not, doesn't scale good. You can go, you almost Black Cleaver, and after that, unless you already won the game, you're gonna be useless. That's the issue with him. It's been the same for so long. Pike, no, Pike jungle is dead, actually. Can't jungle with him anymore. Ramus, Ramus is A. I don't think he deserves to be put any higher. I think Nunu is just like a better Ramus in general. That's my opinion. But yeah, he's really good into AD heavy teams, but nowadays you always have AP champs and they go loot and pendant void. And yeah, you're not gonna survive even into your Ramus with Whitson. That's all I'm gonna say. But uh, yeah, still Perma Genker. I know the Russian boys love him. The Armadillo, okay. Uh, Renekton jungle, I mean it's not that bad, new skin came out, so that's a reason to put him in A, I guess. Uh, Rengar, Rengar, people sleep on Rengar, I think Rengar is really strong, both with crit and with Sunderer build. I think Rengar is actually, this is not in order by the way, I should put it in order, but it's whatever, we'll just leave it like this. Anyway, I think Rengar is really strong, his second ability is one of the most annoying abilities to deal with in the game. 
he can do a lot of things if you go crit he solos baron he one taps everyone now there's a lot of builds going around you have a lot of build diversity on him it all depends on the mini team actually whether you go crit or bruiser with sunder black cleaver but both versions are really really strong you can't really go wrong with him nowadays i feel like uh Riven. Riven, there's so many champs in S, I just realized. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we got the jungle meta going, okay. Riven is still strong, strong duelist, strong early game. She's like she's like a better Lee Sin, because she scales better actually. And she has the same, if not more, early game power, it's just her ganks are a bit worse. So it's like why pick Lee over Riven at this point. Riven can also abuse a lot of items, you can also go Yomus on her in jungle. If you wanna be more of an assassin. But yeah, she doesn't really have many downsides. Like some AP champs are pretty hard to play against. Like Gragas just bops her. Same for Gwen after early game. When she gets some items, but yeah. Not too many issues. Set jungle. Mm, I played it like a few days ago because I was curious to see how it is. Now I had face rush. Maybe that's the reason I feel like it's shit. Man, I'm just gonna put him in B, fuck it. I don't know, I felt like my damage is very bad, but I went phase rush, maybe that was the issue. It's just like, why pick set when you can pick so many other champs in S? There's so many better champs out here. And there's actually a lot of good champs in the meta, it just depends on on matchups and enemy team comes Shen jungle. Now, this is, if this was competitive, which is dead, but moving on. If this was competitive, Shen will be in B. But in solo queue, in ranked, whatever. I mean, if you play duo trio, maybe it's different. Maybe it's A. I'll just put in B because I see B A. Unless you're playing in a pre-made and you have like some hyper omega monster carry, Shen jungle is not that good. You have to rely on your four pigs in your team, which most of the time don't accomplish anything. You're playing your little baby Shen, you're not gonna do much yourself, you know? Shivana, Shivana is S. I feel like she's still very strong. She didn't really. She's good into a lot of melee champs on the list. She power farms, she scales. Yeah, there's not much else to say about Shivana. I think everyone knows what she does. Cyan jungle. Uh, it's not that great, actually. Before it was decent, because with all tracks, you could, could get like passive stacks easily and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I saw some crazy people playing like Yomus, Yomus Sai in jungle, you know, it sounds fun, maybe I'll try it someday, but yeah, it's not really a meta viable pick. Trindamir, I don't think he's that trash, I don't think he's like B. No, oh, maybe he is actually. There's one guy in Challenger, I forgot his name, who plays like Trindamir, Little Tempo, a Smite uh, Ignite, yeah, in jungle. But I don't know, I wasn't convinced, bro, I'll just put him B. The thing is, one, he's AD jungler. Two, he has the same issues that he is not really a good team fight champion unless the enemy team has literally zero CC, which absolutely never happens nowadays. They have at least three, four CC spells, and if they decide to throw them at you, well, yeah, you're not gonna have fun, even if it, you have like USS. But yeah, he's just really slow and he scales well, but it takes so fucking long, man. Like by the time you scale. Fizz scaled as well, Echo scaled as well, Eve scaled as well, and they just one tap you. Even if you press your ult, they will play Sonya. What are you gonna do, bro? You just gotta sit there and look at them. Okay, Twisted Fate jungle is bad. <laughs> I played it, but it's it's not a thing anymore, man. I don't know. You can barely clear like red buff, blue buff, and gromp before crab spawns. So yeah, it's kinda obvious what you're gonna do. What else we got here? Timo, Captain Timo on duty, you can pick him. It's playable, but uh, you're not gonna win the game, most likely. Vi. Vi S. Still the same as always. Amazing. Early game jungler. Great CC, great setup. If you have a good top laner to play around, you have like, I don't know, a Riven or, or an Ecton or something. You just permass it on their lane, perma ult enemy, enemy top laner, and he's not gonna enjoy his gameplay. He will not be able to do much. But yeah, great single target, lock CC. She farms to defast still. She can deal pretty well with Diana, but that's and Kha'Zix actually. She's good into both of them. It's just that once they scale, it's 
not that fun for Vayu to play because you will not be able to match them anymore. But for the first, I don't know, 10-15 minutes of the game, unless they snowball, you should be fine. Uh, where is the next war week? Um, actually, I guess A. The champion just feels like he doesn't do much, man. It's like, yeah, you have good ganks, you know, you're strong early game, you have crazy sustain. But all it takes is one ignite and all of that is gone out of the window. And the thing is, I don't feel like the items are that great on him. You go like Sander, Trinity into Borg, you are so squishy man and you don't even deal that much damage, honestly. He skills not that great either. Yeah, it's just, the champ is in a weird spot. I think it's just his kit, his kit is not that great. Monkey King, holy shit man, where do I start with this champion? Okay, he's S+, plus. I can't scroll up anymore for some reason. I don't know where should I start with the monkey. He just has everything. I don't know, they get... I played against so many Wukongs, I am perma banning him, by the way, nowadays. I cannot play against this. He just gets thunder and runs at you. There is absolutely nothing you can do about it. You better be glad it's fucking... Uh, what's his name? There was, a, there was a crazy guy in US playing Wukong crit jungle. Coco's Wuju style or something like this. He's going crit Wukong every game. That's the only way you can win against this champion because he's so squishy, you won't have him. Other than that, I don't know. He is like by far the best duelist in the game. He abuses broken ass items, Sunner, Black Cleaver. He is full build already, man. If he gets Spirit Visage on top, it's just GG. You can't do damage to him, you can't kill him. Sterak? Gargoyle? GA? Oh my goodness, man. Good luck. Good luck, have fun. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This champ tilts me so much. He has great early game. He clears great, he's a great duelist. I remember I was playing Wukong against Kha'Zix and he had like, what did he, that guy have top lane? I don't remember. He had like an Irelia or something. I literally just walk 1v2 at Crab and kill Kha'Zix by myself. How is that possible, man? I wish I had the clip to put it on the screen right now. It is just bullshit. Bullshit, that's the word. The champ is bullshit. The Q heals for 10 trillion in the W, you auto cast spells on it randomly. It gives him a lot of time to get his Q back. Third ability attacks, beats steroid, he can go through all his follow flashes, it's just the dash is so long as well. Ah oh, man, I hate this champ. I hope it gets nerfed someday, but I don't and I don't know what happened with Wukong, because I quit the game like after like December. I took, I don't know, one month break. Because I didn't want to play anymore. And the I came back, the champ didn't get any buffs. But it's so broken now. I guess just more people started playing it. I don't that's the only explanation I have. Xin Zhao, Xin is S. He I me mean, he's still good. I don't really see him much anymore, but he he's like a worse Wukong. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it all the time. He's just like a bit weaker than Wukong, but he accomplishes like the same things. He's a great duelist. He's great team fighter as well, just like Wukong. His ult buys a lot of space. His ganks are not too bad either. I guess he's a bit slower than Wukong actually. But not by much. Okay, what do we have last? Okay, Yasuo jungle. Now, you guys are gonna say I'm trolling. You guys are gonna say I'm trolling, but I had 90% win rate on Yasuo jungle. I am better Yasuo than Don. I said it, okay? I don't know, I just feel like if you have a knockout champion in your team, you have like, I don't know, Alistar support or like, what's a good, I mean, Gragas mid lane, obviously, Wukong top lane, etc. If you have a good knockout champion, uh, champion in your team, you just go to their lane and you kill them for free. There's nothing you need to even do, just press one button, enemy is dead. He doesn't have problems with clearing jungle either. Okay, he's not the fastest, right? But he's not slow either. He clears jungle pretty efficiently. Yeah, he scales really well. His early game, mm, once you get uh, charge blade is fine. Once you get IE, you are doing great. Like, I don't know, I just feel like the champ has a lot of tools. It's just, you need some uh, help from your... If you duel with someone, right? And they pick a knockout champion, you can kill everyone. That's all I can say. Yone, Yone is very good in jungle. I don't think the nerfs did anything to him. I've been playing it a lot. I'll post a Yone video soon. <laughs> XD <laughs> for sure will upload consistently. But yeah, I think he doesn't really... He's like Yasuo. 
yeah he's actually just like yeah so his first clear is a bit slower and he takes a bit of time to scale you need at least two items but even at one item is not too bad now there was a dilemma i had because i wasn't sure if it's best to go borg first or infinity first on both of them but i feel like in jungle unless the enemy is very tanky you always go charge blade solari whatever I said infinity, I'm stupid, I just realized. Anyway, you wanna go Solari if they're squishy. You only go Borg if they're like bruisers, if they're like, I don't know, Riven, Vi, whatever. If they have squishy champions, you go infinity, or you you will not feel like you do damage. Yeah. We have Zed. I think Zed is crazy good in jungle still. They nerfed his third ability. So now I just started going Q. What's the difference, bro? You max Q anyway. You lost like a few seconds maybe on your clear, but the champ just is very very good in the jungle you clear fast you're reliable on blue buff obviously but i watch zealous a lot on eu he is popping off on the jungle every game so i'm a fanboy what can i say i copy his build mm, who's left do i put zeri i can put zeri now i said zeri is sss plus but she's actually a now the thing with zeri is your first clear is very slow, very shit, to put it right. It is very bad. I mean, okay, if the enemy team is five people who do not care about your existence, you're chilling. If one person from the enemy team decides to do anything about you early game, you're not gonna have a fun time. Now. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not, still not sure on Zeri builds even because everyone's seeing different things. I think in jungle Black Reaper is still the best. It just gives you more tankiness. And Zeri, the thing is, the, the main reason why Zeri is really good in jungle is because she's so tanky for no reason. Her base stats are stupid. I don't know. I'm not taking jungle camp damage when I'm playing her. But yeah, realistically speaking, you need three items on Zeri. You need... Storm Razor, Black Cleaver, IE. I think from my point of view at least, I didn't really play Viseria that much actually. I got her like 3-4 games in total. But I think Storm Razor, Black Cleaver, IE in jungle. And you're just good to go. You need an enchanter though in your team. So if you have like Karma, you know, John, Anami, anything worse, you just really need an enchanter. She's really reliant on her ultimate as well. Without the ultimate, you can't really do much. But I don't know, I just feel like the champ is very useful her second ability provides a lot of vision a lot of space you can ah uh, i don't know i'm so conflicted on zeri i think she's good but at the same time when i'm trying to find good points about her i can't <laughs> anyway that's the tier list i uh, i'm done i don't know what else can i put in here singed i haven't seen singed jungle in forever can he still? I think he can still clear pretty well though. I'll put him B. I need to try actually. I'm gonna try today. I will not forget. Uh, Brand. Brand is dead in jungle. You need to start blue buff and it's really, really slow. Cannon, Yona. Yona jungle. Nasus? <laughs> I mean, Nasus is playable in jungle, right? Just put it lower. Um, I wish I could rename those things on the side, but I can't. If the new Mad Labs GG guys are watching, please let me edit the fucking ABCD. I know I didn't go to school, I can't say the alphabet, but please, man. Blitzcrank, nah, Kali. Okay, let's check from top to bottom and I'll stop the tier list. Agria, blah, 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 blah. Ace Soul Jungle was fun, good old times. Draven, actually, believe me, <laughs> okay, we're not gonna put Draven, but he can jungle, okay, he can. Um, Ezreal, Ezreal jungle is, I mean, you can do it, it's just not too good, same for Jinx, Zero, Kaisa. I don't know, ADC jungle, once they change, like, the way you clear, that you get, you need to full clear to get good XP, right, but those ADCs can't full clear jungle. So you are forced to do stupid plays, like just going in lane and taxing or pretending to gank and smiting the cannon, you know? But yeah, it's just not good, man. Leona jungle, no. MF, no. Samira, no. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that should be it for the tier list. 
finally a new tier list on the channel wow i will do one for 4.1 surely trust me guys but yeah this video got a bit too long so thanks for watching the tier list bye bye